okay guys in this video i will talk about when we need to use plan bracing okay very simple topic uh, and very useful for especially the beginners okay so uh, consider any portal frame okay so if we have any portal frame in 3d like this okay and let's say in 3d it's something like this one okay so all the uh, let's say all the supports are pin support and that is why you have to use the bracing okay and this is another bracing okay and let's say we are using moment connection along this direction along this direction okay so these are the moment connection and let's say now you are supposed to uh, rest any equipment over this uh, frame like this one okay so this is the equipment you need to install so for that what you have to do you have to simply provide some beam okay you have to some uh, provide some secondary beam like this okay and you are simply resting uh, this uh, equipment over this secondary beam okay and of course due to wind or any earthquake there is some lateral load acting on this support okay or uh, this one and this one if this equipment has four legs like this one so at all the four supports there is some lateral load okay so due to wind or maybe due to earthquake now let's simply cut out this plan okay so we have cut out the plan okay so this is the plan got it and this is column this is also column all these fours are column okay and let's say the secondary beams were something like this this were the secondary beam and you have some lateral load along with vertical load at the support at the four support okay so normally what happens these secondary beams these secondary beams are pin connected here and here and this beam is also pin connected with this primary beam okay so due to this lateral load what happens it simply uh, buckle like this agree it simply buckles like this and now if we normally use i section for uh, this let's say we are using i, I section okay for this secondary beam okay so when this buckles like this we are actually applying the lateral load like this so this i section actually buckles about it minor axis okay so of course compared to the major axis the moment carrying capacity about this minor axis is very much low so to cater a very nominal lateral load okay we need actually a very large i section why because due to this lateral load due to this lateral loads this i section is going to buckle along its minor axis okay so if this is the major axis it's going to buckle along minor axis so we need to have a very large i section so it is not at all economical so what we have to do we will simply deny that uh, we will assume that there is no such beam okay so let me clean this one so these are four column okay we are drawing in plan and uh, this were the secondary beam and we are ignoring this but we have some lateral load acting at the support of the equipment okay so how to transfer this lateral load to this column okay so to transfer the lateral load to all this four column what we have to do we have already assumed that there is no beam okay so to do that what we will do we will simply connect them first okay so connect all the support first okay and then we will connect the others primary beams too so we have actually connected all of them and now you are applying a load here a load here a load here and this one is here 
so how this all for this load is going to transfer to the column simply provide some bracing like this okay so if you simply provide a bracing like this one okay a, this one you have provide a bracing like this okay and let's say you have provided like this okay you have also added some another start so what will happen if you apply any load here this is actually going to be transferred to this column because this is the shortest path now if you apply any lateral load at this point what will happen it will eventually come to this start then from this start to this column that's it for this load if you apply here it will come through this start and then to this column that's it okay and now uh, in section in elevation actually in elevation these are the column and these are the bracing okay so when we have applied this lateral load it has traveled to this column through this bracings okay and now this column has actually some lateral load and of course this will transfer to this foundation through bracing so here to cater all this lateral load we have actually ignored the beam we have simply connected them by some uh, strut and then we have provided some bracing arrangement to transfer them to the nearest column so this is the basic purpose of plant bracing